So, we're going to get started in a seated, comfortable position, probably with the legs crossed. If you have a blanket, go ahead and sit on the blanket and just let yourself feel cozy. If you have it, it's always a good, a good idea to just take advantage of being able to lift your hips to have a little more soft ground beneath you. Remove all the flesh from beneath the sit bones. Allow the eyes to close. And just as you close the eyes, give yourself the freedom to move around a bit and just begin to acknowledge yourself. Just taking a moment to notice how your body is feeling today. I'm just giving the body per permission to slowly soften, become heavier, disengaging through the jaw, softening through the face, through the shoulders. And then allow yourself to come into total stillness. And without changing or manipulating the way you're sitting, just notice how your posture feels. Just naturally within your body, how are your shoulders sitting? What is the sensation in your upper back versus your lower back? And just noticing all the sensations along the entire spine. And beginning to fully arrive into this present moment with your breath. Beginning to deepen the breath and allow it to be expansive. Really feeling your body move out in every direction as you take that deep inhale. And then noticing also when you completely exhale, emptying out, notice the difference within the body, how it feels. Often we feel more once we're full of breath, once we're full and expansive, because we're literally shifting the body from the inside out and allowing our tissues to really become elastic and lengthen. There's a spot right up here, ladies. So when you're breathing in and you're filling your lungs up, your diaphragm is literally pressing down through your organs. So something is happening within the body and whatever you're feeling, if there's like an achiness in a joint or tightness within a muscle, most often you're going to feel that at the top of the inhale when you're pushing on your diaphragm, massaging your body from the inside out. And yet when we exhale and let it all go, often that sensation can fade or dissolve. Maybe it's even being released through the breath. And 
see if you can begin to sip in a little bit more with each inhale. Allowing these to be the biggest breaths you've taken all day. I love it when I can hear everybody's breath flowing. If you're not sure how to create a sound with your breath, you can just simply create an engagement through the back of your throat. It's the same thing as if you're fogging up a glass or a mirror with your mouth open. <sighs> that same sort of activation in the throat is what we do when we're breathing in and out of the nose. This is called ujjayi breath. It is the type of breath that we practice with a vinyasa flow or a power flow because it literally warms up the body and lets your muscles become more malleable as we move through pose to pose. And just let the breath take your full focus. Letting the practice, the poses, take your secondary focus. We're here to breathe more so than we are here to get more flexible or strengthen the body. We're really here to breathe. The breath is what is moving energy through your body, through your vessel, which then allows you to become stronger and more open through your limbs. As you inhale, face the palms up to the sky and reach the fingers out to either side, stretching the arms nice and long. Reach the arms all the way up overhead. Let the palms touch. Exhale the hands together to the heart space. Speaking of moving energy, imagine energy at the, in the middle of the palms. Inhale, sweep them out. It's like you're gathering like a rainbow of energy all the way up towards the top of the head. And you exhale, gather it and draw it down in through the skull into your heart. What type of energy are you cultivating? Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, draw it into the heart. Pause with the thumbs pressing into the heart, eyes closed, and just invite your intention into your practice. More peace, more joy, more love, whatever it may be. Set an intention. And then inhale, open the arms back up, palms open. As you exhale, bring the right arm under the left. We're going to wrap them up into eagle arms. So the palms come to face together toward the center. Try and see if you can bring your fingers to your palm. And now lift your elbows as high as your shoulders. Press the forearms away from the face. Breathing in through the back of the heart, the shoulder blades. Stay nice and tall through the spine. Shoulders are still relaxed away from the ears. Take another deep inhale. Exhale, unwind the arms. Sweep them out wide. Exhale, other side. So left arm under right this time. Wrap them up. Lift those elbows and press the forearms away from the face. The greater you squeeze your arms together to the midline, the more you'll feel that length and release through the top of the back. Full inhale. Complete exhale. Release the arms. Open them up nice and wide. Exhale. Plant the right hand to the mat next to you. Left fingers rise up to the ceiling. And as you slowly exhale, melt and soften through that right elbow, letting you get into a side bend stretch here. If you want, you can allow your fingers to go out a little bit further, softening through that elbow. Reach those left fingers up and over. Keeping that left armpit lifted towards the ceiling. Letting the breath weave through the left side of the rib cage. Inhale, come up to center. Exhale, other side. So the left palm plants, right fingers to the sky. And notice as you're leaning over, try and keep both sit bones planted. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, plant the palms. Find your way to your tabletop onto hands and knees. 
So you stack the shoulders directly over the wrists, hips over the knees. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Press down through that right hand firmly. Inhale, left fingers rise to the ceiling. Look up and lengthen. Exhale, thread the needle. Bring it under and through. Let that left ear come to the earth. Press firmly into your right hand. You want to see if you can bring your gaze to the ceiling. You get a nice twist through the upper back. Gaze to the sky. Shift all of your weight into that left knee, the knee closest to the mirror. Breathing into that shoulder blade space. Again, that back of the heart space, the space where we hold self-love. The front of our heart is where we hold love for others. The back of the heart in between the shoulder blades is where we hold the energy, the love for ourselves. Have you ever noticed if you're really hard and critical on yourself, those space between your shoulder blades is really tight and really stressed out? <sighs> Breathe into it. Show yourself some love. Take a full inhale. Exhale. Let it go. <sighs> Press firmly into that right hand. As you inhale, unwind the left arm and bring it all the way back up to the sky, resetting the spine. Left fingers up. Exhale, the table. Other side. Inhale, right fingers rise. Exhale, thread the needle under and through, extend through the fingers, release the ear. Shift your gaze to the ceiling. Make sure you're being gentle on your neck. If it doesn't work for your neck, just leave that. And then now shift your weight into the knee that's closest to the opposite wall. So we have this energetic space within our heart that's not just in our front of our heart, but the back of our heart, the sides. And it's really pretty amazing when we go and give a hug to someone. It's like the front of our hearts actually have this connection, yet the hand of the opposite person touches the back of your heart space. A really beautiful, energetic exchange of love. And when we're doing yoga, we're literally doing a body language. If you ever notice anyone who's sad or depressed or doesn't have much love to give, their shoulders are rounded, their heart sinks back into their chest. So literally just by pulling the shoulders back, opening your heart, you can heal that energetic center of the body and all the different areas that it relates within your life beyond the physical human body. Take one last deep inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Inhale to unwind, reach the fingers back up. Exhale to your table. Beautiful, melting heart pose or puppy pose. Keep your hips stacked over your knees and walk your hands out. Melting the shoulders and the chest to the earth. Your forehead can find contact with the block or with the mat itself. And just soften the shoulders, soften the fingers. Keep those hips lifted. If you have a flexible back and you, that you've practiced this, you feel okay lifting your gaze towards your fingers with the chin to the earth. It does engage those deep neck muscles, so it's a little bit more strength or activation. But wherever you go, make sure you can keep that deep belly breath. We never want to go where we lose the breath, because that can risk injury to the body. Take another deep inhale here. Exhale to melt a bit more to the earth. Inhale, walk those palms back under the shoulders. Cat, cow it out. Inhale to lift the chin, lift the tailbone, arch the spine. Use your whole inhale. Exhale to round, tuck it all under and in, navel to spine. And just let the natural flow of your breath guide you. As you inhale, you look up. As you exhale, you round and tuck the chin. Press through those hands. We're still focusing on the back of the heart space here. So when you round and you look like a scary Halloween cat, press through those arms with strength. And you can literally imagine your shoulder blades being pulled apart, creating space there. Each inhale, open the front of the chest. Each exhale, round it out. Bring it back into yourself. Mm. Your next inhale, come to a flat back, neutral alignment. Tuck all ten toes. Lift your hips up and back for downward facing dog. Our first down dog of the practice, spread your fingers really wide. Remember, you have your whole palm here. So use your whole palm. Be kind to your wrists. The sweet spot is that knuckle at the base of the pointer finger. 
So right at the top of your palm, that's the spot where you want to press the most in through your hands. We'll forget. We'll let it lift and become limp. So as often as you can remember, press down through that spot of your hand. Feel free to pedal out the heels gently. Let the back of the legs release. Taking any, any intuitive micro movements here, any at all that feel good for your own body to release any stagnant, locked up energy within the body. Maybe you gently shake your head, yes and no. Let it be hanging heavy, the whole weight of the skull being felt. Softening through the neck, through the shoulders. On your inhale, glide forward, high plank, top of a push-up. Check in with the alignment between hands and toes. You should be able to keep your hands and feet exactly where they are here. Exhale, lift hips up and back, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Find a deeper bend in your knees, in your down dog, and then lift your sit bones higher to the sky. Beautiful. So when you lift your sit bones higher, like you have two strings on your sit bones lifting you up, you find that beautiful length in the spine. Maintain that height in your sit bones. If you can maintain it, you can also straighten your legs, pour the heels. But if you lose that height the moment you straighten the legs, then Keep the knees bent. Beautiful. Find the breath here. Send it all the way down the spine. Inhale, glide forward, high plank. Exhale, lift hips, down dog. Inhale, glide forward, high plank. Exhale, lift hips, down dog. Walk your hands back to your toes, standing forward fold. Your feet are hip width distance. Keep a nice buoyancy within the knees and let the top body hang heavy. Just letting the natural weight of your skull and arms find length through the spine. Be mindful of how your feet are holding your weight. If it's being dumped in the heels, shift it forward to the toes. Feel free to sway side to side. Walk the hands back out, downward facing dog. Inhale, glide forward, high plank. Exhale, lower to your belly. Hug your elbows in, feel your elbows graze your side body as you lower all the way, untuck your toes. Cobra flow, inhale, lift up the chest, roll the shoulders back, lengthening the spine. Exhale to roll the chest back down to the earth. Let the strength of your back lift you up on your inhale. Try not to put too much weight in your hands. Exhale to release like an ocean wave. Flow with your breath. Inhale. Last one. Maybe you lift a bit higher at the top if it feels okay. Exhale, release. Press your hands and knees, child's pose with the hips by the heels. Let the chest come onto the thighs. Your knees are together. And bring your fingers by your toes, letting the shoulders collapse around the legs. Gently rock the forehead side to side, just checking back in with your intention. And as you inhale, slowly roll the spine up. Let your head and shoulders be heavy. Take your time to lift. Space your knees out just a bit so they're hip width distance apart. They're not glued together. And plant your right fingers by your right pinky toe. So you're really firm right here through that right arm. Extend the left arm out. Take a full inhale. Exhale it out. Inhale, lift the hips and bring the left fingers up and back. Exhale, slowly lower. We're going to move with breath. Opposite side, left fingers plant. Inhale to lift the hips. Very gentle back bend. Exhale to lower and switch. Inhale to lift. Beautiful. 
for the last one. Exhale to release. Inhale, lift up onto the knees, arms straight out in front of you, palms face down, take an inhale. Exhale, hinge it back. Keep the whole spine straight, feel those quadriceps engage, inhale, come back to center. Exhale, hinge it back. Inhale, come back up. Exhale to hinge. Strong core, tuck that navel into the spine. Exhale as you engage and hinge back. Inhale to come up to center. Inhale, come to center. Plant the hands table. Tuck toes, left hips, down dog. Take a full inhale. Complete exhale. Gaze at your hands, one giant step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, rise up halfway, bring your palms to shins, lengthen the spine, flat back. Exhale, hinge and fold. Let's flow here. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge and fold. Two more to your breath. Exhale to release. Inhale, root to rise. Strong core, come all the way up to a stand. Arms come up overhead. Look up, lengthen. Exhale, the hands together to the heart space. Mountain pose. Inhale, arms sweep up. Look up, lengthen. Exhale, hinge and fold forward. Strong core, flat back. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen the spine, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms. Step back to your high plank. Pause. Widen your feet as wide as your hips. As you exhale, drop both heels to the right. Inhale, bring the heels to center. Exhale, drop both heels to the left. So your shoulders stay stacked over your wrist. Inhale to center. Exhale, drop the heels. Move with your breath. Feeling those obliques engage each time. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale. Exhale, come to center, lower to your belly, chaturanga or knees, chin, chest. Inhale, cobra or full up dog, open the heart. Exhale, we meet in downward facing dog. Take a full inhale. Exhale it out. Empty a bear step or float to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, root to rise. Open the heart at the top if you'd like. Just gently lift the chin. Exhale, hinge and fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, plant the palms. Step back to your high plank and pause. Beautiful. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, draw your right knee to your left elbow. Cross the body. Inhale, bring it back to your plank. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale to plank. Exhale, cross the body. Beautiful. Yeah, get into the obliques today. Keep those hips level. Keep your quadriceps engaged so your hips don't sink or sag. Be kind to your low back. Strong core. You got it. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Come to plank and lower to your belly. Knees, chin, chest, or chaturanga. Elbows in. Inhale, open the heart, cobra, or full up dog. Each time is your choice. We all meet in downward facing dog. Take a full inhale. Exhale it out. Empty of air, step or float to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Open the heart at the top. Exhale, hinge and fold right away. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant the palms, step back to high plank and pause. Keep the feet as wide as the hips. Take an inhale. As you exhale, drop the heels to the right, lift the left hand, side plank. Exhale, come back to neutral. Inhale, left side plank, right fingers lift. Inhale to neutral. Exhale to side. Move with your breath. Check in with your thoughts. Are you telling yourself that you're strong or are you getting frustrated with that strength that you're building? Let's celebrate the movement, the muscle that you already have. You're here for a reason, so just breathe into however you're feeling because that's amazing. 
that you're here, you're breathing, you're getting stronger. Coming to neutral plank, take an inhale, exhale, lower to your belly, feel those elbows. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, down dog. Take a full inhale. Exhale it out. Empty of air, step or float to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, root to rise. Open the heart at the top. Exhale the hands together to the heart space. Open the palms, mountain pose. Take a moment in mountain pose to close the eyes and ground into your roots, into your feet, spreading the toes wide. Deepening your breath. Take a full inhale. Exhale, sink the hips. Arms come up overhead for chair pose. So your feet can be hip width distance. If you have wider hips, this might feel better. Or your big toes touch. There's space between your heels. And you can literally squeeze your knees and your thighs together. Sink your hips nice and low. If your shoulders are unhappy here, bring your hands to the heart. Otherwise, challenge yourself. Bring those biceps by the ears. Pinkies turn in. Sink those hips. Take a full inhale. Lengthen the spine. As you exhale, hinge and fold. Bring those fingers to the earth. Make sure you can graze them. Keep that nice deep bend in the hips. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, hinge and sweep them all the way back. Inhale, lift the chest. Keep the legs exactly where they are. Just let the top body be fluid. Inhale to lift. Exhale, hinge and sweep. Inhale. Exhale, hinge and sweep. Pause here. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Squeeze the base of the palms together. So don't let your hands be wide open. If you can, draw your shoulder blades together. Hinge and fold. Let the fist become heavy up overhead. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Let the front of the chest become broad. Beautiful. On your inhale, halfway lift, flat back, release the grip in your palms. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, plant the palms, step or float through your vinyasa, so we're not going to pause and plank this time. If you're flowing through, you jump back and lower through the arms at the same time. Meeting a downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg rises. Exhale, bend the knee, stack the hip, right knee tucks to the ceiling, lengthening that right side body. Inhale, lengthen the leg long. Exhale, mindfully plant it between the palms. One giant step forward. Make sure it's all the way forward so your heel is stacked under that front knee. Beautiful. Rise into your crescent lunge. Nice. Take a full inhale. Exhale, bring the right fingers back, left fingers forward, look to the right. Take an inhale, sink length in the spine, lift through the top of the head. Exhale, reach those right fingers back, plug that right shoulder blade into the spine. Another inhale here. Exhale, stay soft in that front knee. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, let the back heel spin down to plant the foot. Open the arms, warrior two. Open hips, open shoulders, beautiful. Flip both palms up to the sky. Inhale, reach up, look up, lengthen, straighten that front knee. Exhale, soften into warrior two. Moving with breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, pause, flip just the front palm and reverse your warrior. Back palm to the back side, or you can wrap it around towards the front of your right hip. As you reach up through that armpit and through the fingers, Keep that deep bend through that front knee. Breathe. <sighs> Inhale, come back up to warrior two. Exhale, carve your hands down to frame that front foot. Step the left foot forward. Inhale, chair. Sink the hips, arms, and chest come high. Exhale, hands come to prayer. Inhale. Exhale, take the twist. Look to the right. Bring your left elbow outside of your right knee. Squeeze the thumbs together to the heart space. 
Look down at your knees and see if that left knee is falling forward. Press it back. Knees are level. Sink those hips. Breathe deeply. Find expansion when we're literally twisted. Inhale, come to center. Stay low in the hips. You got this. Exhale, turn to the left. Right elbow outside that left knee. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Check in with your intention. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, plant the palms, step or flow through your vinyasa. You can always skip a vinyasa, go straight to down dog if you've had enough. Move with your own breath. Inhale, the left leg rises. Exhale, bend the knee, stack the hip. Keep your shoulders square, just like down dog when you lift that left knee cap to the sky. Inhale, extend it long through the heel. Exhale, giant step, plant it between the hands. Rise into your crescent lunge. So before we move here, check in with your spine. A lot of times we have this little arch in our low back, letting our tailbone stick out and the lower rib points jet out. As if you're literally sewing your lower rib points together, bring them under and in, and let your tailbone be really heavy. So one straight, long spine, strong core with the navel tucked in. Take a full inhale. As you exhale, drop the left fingers back, look to the mirror, bring the right fingers forward. Each inhale here, think length in the spine, grow tall through the head. Each exhale, reach those left fingers back even further. Stay soft through that front knee, beautiful, full inhale. Exhale, last breath here. Exhale it out. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, warrior two, drop your back heel, open the arms. Open the palms to the sky. Inhale, look up, reach up, straighten that front leg. Exhale into your warrior two. Inhale, reach up, look up, lengthen. Exhale, warrior two. Move with breath. Last one. Warrior two. Reverse it. As much as you're reaching back, you're really lifting through your armpit. Keeping that lift and length through the side of the body. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, car wheel the hands all the way down to frame that front foot. Step it back and flow. Beautiful. Take a full inhale and down dog. Exhale it out. Empty of air, separate float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, root to rise. Open the heart at the top, lift the chin slightly. Exhale, come to your mountain pose. Hands to the heart space first, and then palms open. So open the eyes and find a dristy point, a place to settle your eyes. Finding your balance. Pick up the right knee towards the chest. Nice. Go ahead and grab your right knee with your left hand. Opposite hand. Extend that right arm out behind you to the back wall. So find your balance here. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, maybe you slowly shift your gaze over to the right. Maybe you shift your gaze all the way to the back thumb. We're in a standing, balancing twist. If you have long hamstring, or you want to try and take it a little bit further here, reach for the blade edge of that foot, first getting the bind, maybe starting to just slowly straighten the leg. But if your hamstring's reaching for the foot, then don't go that far. Keep the integrity of the spine here. Breathing. Balancing poses can be really frustrating, so just stay with your breath. Staying open and loving to self. Keep that right leg lifted, guys. Come back to center. Yeah, cross it all the way over that left leg. Eagle leg. So if you want a little more stabilization here, if your balance is like all over the place, go ahead and plant that big toe down so you have two points of contact on the floor. If you want to take it all the way around, wrap your toes around your calf. So we're sitting low in the hips, like you're sitting in a chair with the legs crossed. 
Try and keep this chest lifted. Spine long. Sink those hips. Take a full inhale. Exhale. Wrap the arms right under left. Eagle arms. Lift those elbows. Press the forearms away from the face. Breathe. Remember, squeeze everything energetically to the midline of the body. Eagle pose. Where we tap into the wisdom that's within ourselves. Hmm. Full inhale. Exhale. Unwind the arms. Can we do it? Unwrap that right leg. Keep the right leg lifted. Ooh, hands to the heart space. Sweep it back. Warrior three. Drop the chest. Let the head and the back heel come in one straight line. T-shape. You got it. Step it back into your high crescent lunge. Arms up overhead. Exhale and neck bend. Longest exhale ever. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, come to center. Put the hands and flow. Three breaths in down dog. Hmm. On your next inhale, exhale it out. Empty of air, step or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, reach your eyes, arms up overhead, maybe a back bend. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Mountain pose. So take a moment here. Wipe the slate clean. Whatever happened on the other side, in the past, it's not real anymore, so just forget it. And just be here now for a moment. Feel into your feet. Pick up all ten toes. Spread them wide and set them back down. Really connecting to your roots like you're really gathering and pulling energy up into your body like a tree from your feet. And just that inner, like, pull of energy is going to help hold your balance. Pick up that left knee. Bring it to your chest. Hug onto it with the opposite hand, so the right hand this time. And extend the left arm back behind you. If you're working on balance, you can stay right here with your gaze where it already is. If you can do it, slowly shift your gaze first to the left, and then maybe all the way to the back wall. If you took the bind on the outer edge of the foot, guess what? You get to do it again. Get that balance on either side of the body. Breathe. Slowly come back to center. Keep that left knee lifted. You got it. Open the arms up like wings of a bird. We're going to deagle pose after all. Cross it over. So you're either bringing your big toe down or you're looping it all the way around or just kind of letting it hang out here too. That's fine. Sink through the knees. Sink through the hips. Keep the chest lifted. Take an inhale. Exhale, wrap the arms. I think we're going left under right this time. Lift those elbows as high as the shoulders. Press the forearms away from the face and squeeze everything together to the midline of the body. Whew. You may notice this side feels entirely different. I'm about to fall over on this one. <laughs> so just breathe. Enjoy, have fun falling out. We have to be willing to fall if we ever want to find balance. You got it. Open the arms up. And lift that leg back up. Exhale it into your warrior three. Kick that heel back. Drop the chest so it's a warm straight line. Your arms can come in prayer or reach all the way and towards the windows. As you exhale, step it way back into your high lunge. Inhale to lift the chest. Longest exhale ever. Exhale back bend. Shh. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, plant the hands and flow. Downward facing dog. Widen your feet as wide as the mat. Toes are your, the edges of your feet are on the edges of your mat. Inhale, lift your heels, come high on the toes. Exhale, sink the heels to the earth. Inhale, high on the toes. Exhale, sink the heels. Inhale. Exhale, step your feet in an inch closer to each other. 
Inhale, lift the heels high on the toes as high as you can. Lift those hip bones. Exhale, lower the heels. Inhale, lift. Exhale, soften. Inhale. Exhale, walk your feet in back to your normal down dog stance. Five more breaths. Inhale, lift. Exhale, soften the heels. Four more. Last one. Now bring your feet back out wide. Turn your toes out. I right, know. We got it. Walk those hands back. Sink your hips for yogi squat. Bring your hands together to the heart space. If your heels are lifted, you can widen your stance. Sometimes that helps them drop a little bit more to the earth. Press those elbows out through the knees. Let them come wide. And squeeze the shoulder blades together once again so your collarbone is brought at the front of the chest. Lifting tall through the spine. If you have crow arm balance, now is your chance to go ahead and play. Crow or crow headstand. Back to crow. If you're, you have good balance in crow, you can do crow toe taps where you tap your big toe to your wrist one at a time. And if you're like, uh, what is crow? <laughs> then you can play with me. I'll guide you through a little bit of it. Planting your hands. Shoulder width distance and bringing your kneecaps onto your tricep, so on the upper arm. That's the first step, letting your knees and your elbows be shoulder and hip width distance. You don't want to be wide. Wide is actually like frog pose, it's kind of different. So you want everything plugged into the midline to shoulder hip width distance. And then you just bend your elbows so that your upper arm becomes a shelf. It's kind of like horizontal to the floor, it's a shelf for your knees. And bring your gaze forward. Let your shoulders come past your fingertips. So you just lift one toe up at a time. And when you lift your toes, imagine you're squeezing an orange behind your knee, really plugging your heel up into your glute. Maybe you can balance with two, or maybe you just kind of explore how it feels to shift your weight into your hands. About five more breaths, and then we'll meet in our yogi squat. Beautiful. Coming back to our yogi squat here. Inhale, extend the right arm out in front of you. Exhale, plant the right hand in front of your right toes. Inhale, left fingers rise up to the ceiling, diagonally away from the right hand, and your gaze follows through that top finger. Breathe. Keep that left knee plugged back as you reach the left fingers up. If you have the bind here, you can reach your hands behind your back. Otherwise, just keep the length in the arms. Another inhale to lengthen. Exhale, come back to prayer. Inhale, extend the left arm. Exhale, plant it in front of the toes. Inhale, right fingers rise. Breathe. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come back to center. And drop the sit bones. Let's lengthen out the legs. We made it to our seated posture. You can scoop forward a bit on your mat. So go ahead and bend your, left, your right knee into the chest. Pick it up and roll that ankle around. Keep the spine nice and tall here. And reverse your direction. Cross that foot over. Plant it on the opposite side of your left thigh. Hug this knee into your chest and stay tall through the spine. So this is the first step here. If you want to just stay here, begin to bring your right fingers towards your right hip and just look to the right. If you want to go a bit deeper, inhale the left arm up first. Exhale, bring the elbow outside of the knee. Just giving yourself a little more leverage to twist deeper, but never force, always be gentle. Each inhale, lift tall through the spine. Each exhale, bring the spine out, detoxifying. Inhale, come back to center. And bring your foot to the left inner thigh, knee out wide. Beautiful. A little twist of the heart so your shoulders are framing over this left foot. 
Inhale, tall through the spine. As you exhale, just gently fold over. Keep the legs and let the heart lead towards the knee. There's no need to round and lead with the nose here. If you're really open and you want to take it a little bit deeper, you can reach this right arm up and over your ear, reaching it for the big toe. Inhale, lift back up. Plant the right hand behind the right hip. Lift up through that heel and right shin, left fingers to the sky. Lift those hips like a little back bend. Exhale, slow and controlled, lower it back down. Extend that right leg long. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold over your legs. Hmm. Just let the whole body disengage and melt here. You can even let the toes fall out naturally, disengaging through the legs. Inhale, lift the chest. Hug the left knee into the chest. Lift tall and roll the ankle around. Opposite direction. Plant it on the opposite side of the right thigh. Flip flat to the earth. Hug this left knee in. Sit up nice and tall. Begin to turn to the left. Sprinkle your left fingers by that hip. Just to begin to pull that left shoulder back even further as you look towards it. If you want to go deeper, inhale, right fingers rise. Exhale, elbow outside of the knee. And release, come back to center, unwind. Bring the foot to the right inner thigh. So again, slight twist of the heart, letting your shoulders frame that right leg. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale to soften and fold over. Staying nice and square with the shoulders or lifting through that left arm. Just matching whatever you did on the opposite side. Inhale, lift back up. Plant the left hand by the left hip and lift up the right fingers and the hips coming onto the heel and the shin. Beautiful. Lengthening the front of the body. Exhale, slowly release. Extend the legs out in front of you with the arms straight out as well. Fingers reaching forward, nice and tall through the spine. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower your back a third of the way. Pause here. Inhale. Exhale, lower a third. Pause. Inhale. Exhale, lower to a hover. Don't touch the earth yet. Pause. You're shaking. It's great. Inhale. Exhale, release to the earth. <sighs> Beautiful. Hug your knees into the chest. Wrap around for opposite elbows. Just give your legs a nice tight squeeze. Maybe you gently rock side to side. Coming into a happy baby, bring your elbows on the insides of your knees, hands to the outer edges of the feet. If you can't reach the outer edges of the feet, you can grab your big toes or your ankles. And you're just trying to reach your knees into your armpits nice and wide. Let your feet be flat like you're creating footprints on the, on the sky. It feels really great to rock side to side here, massaging the kidneys. Hmm. And then come to stillness. Just let the movement go. Check in with the spine and let it be nice and long. So maybe you notice you need to lengthen through the neck. Pick up the skull and just tuck your chin under slightly, letting the whole back of the neck be flat on the mat. Maybe you notice your tailbone is kind of curled up. That can happen a lot here if our tip, hips are tight. So see if you can just, like, bring your awareness to your tailbone and give it that direction to flatten back out onto the floor. Even if it doesn't go anywhere, give it that awareness. Bring the bottoms of your feet to touch and release your ankles to the earth. Supta Baddha Konasana. So your blade edge of your feet comes to the mat. You can release your hands and let your knees fall out wide. Bring one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. 
And just very gently rock your skull side to side, massaging through the back of the head. Very slow, finding length on each side of the neck as you do. And then once you've had enough, release that movement and just come into total stillness again. Letting gravity do all the work, disengage all the muscles in the hips. And just feel into the rhythm of your being. That rise and fall as the breath flows in and out. Slowly extend all four limbs long as you find your way into Shavasana. Tuck your shoulder blades under slightly if they aren't already, just cradling that back of the heart that we spent so much time exposing today and releasing any tension, any stress, any stagnant energy. Take up space. Let your feet be as wide as the mat. Let there be a space under the armpits. We're so addicted to playing it small, not being bothersome. I dare you to take up space, to be loud, to let yourself be seen to the world with absolutely no fear, no shudder of doubt of who you are and what you have to bring to the world. Let go of all control of breath. And just let all of your weight pour deeper into the back of the body. Seeping towards the earth, dissolving like a puddle.
staying as still as possible with the eyes closed, just take a deep belly breath. And emptying yourself back out. I'm just imagining this beautiful, nutrient-rich oxygen coming into the body, saturating every cell of your being, wiggle fingers and toes. And just be gentle as you invite some movement. Maybe you circle around ankles and wrists. And take your time to curl up onto whichever side feels good into the fetal position, hugging the knees into the chest. And just taking a moment here to reflect on your upon your practice. Just to recognize those moments that felt really energizing and exciting, maybe inspirational even. But also acknowledging the, the tough times, the frustrating points, the points where we maybe felt tired or weak or like we wanted to give up. And then just give yourself some credit, hold some space in your heart for gratitude. Just applauding yourself for showing up today, for putting in the work, regardless of how it felt, you did it, you put in the work and you showed up. And just gratitude for the practice, for teaching us how to breathe and continue on in all of those different moments of the flow and just of life as well. Take your time, be gentle in your head and neck, and let the eyes stay closed as you rise back to a seated cross-like position. Bringing the hands together to the heart space, pressing thumbs to heart, heart to thumbs. Take a full inhale. Open mouth, exhale. The divine light within me honors and recognizes the divine light within each of you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for bringing your beautiful energy. Namaste. Thank you, everyone.